what I would suggest is for people to uh, balance their chakras because this is the most How? important thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, might be through meditation, for example, mm. is a very important tool for balancing the chakras. Mm. Um, so, um, uh, sorry for interruption, but yeah. I, I need to, to understand more because it's quite a yeah. new thing. If I uh, meditate, yeah. uh, I practice meditation uh, for every uh, every single day, for example, or uh, often, yeah. could that actually relieve my pain and uh, balance my chakras? Uh, yes. Of course, mm. this is uh, well. Even if I'm suffering from uh, physical illness, if I have a, 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 a back pain, if I'm, ha I'm having uh, certain uh, pains or problems, stomach pain, for example, yeah. headache, mm. how the, uh, the the meditation or the, uh, the the chakras could yeah. heal uh, these pains? Yeah, because you know a very important aspect in balancing your chakras mm. is to have clarity. Mm. How do you get clarity? You get, you get clarity through silence. Mm. Um, silence is a very important tool mm. of going into yourself mm. and being able to um, balance your, uh, your body, your, mm. uh, your chakra system. If we are all the time on the run and on the go, which yeah. is the case for uh, most people yeah. nowadays. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. You don't you don't see the beauty of other things. If you are uh, running um, along the sea, Okay, you don't see the beauty of the sea. Mm. If you are in the car and it's going very fast, mm. you don't see the things that are around, mm. right? Mm. So you have to stop. Mm. To stop and observe yourself mm. and watch. Mm. Be mindful. Mm. And by being mindful, you might create this clarity. Mm. Um, by creating clarity, you'll be able to impact your chakra system. Mm. So it is not only reading, mm. so you can read about mm. the chakras, you can know about the chakras, but, but you have to practice you have some practice practice and, to and, to and, chakras. and experience it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, doctor, what's the relation between the, the chakras and the colors? Mm. Uh, I, I've met certain uh, people who, who were uh, involved in that matter and they always uh, wear uh, stones with different colors mm -hmm. uh, in order to have better energy and yeah. a, a better uh, treatment for the body. So uh, how, uh, how the chakras and the colors are related and to what extent this could help in curing uh, the, the person? Yeah. Um, as I said before, the chakras um, have a certain uh, vibration mm. or resonance. And this resonance creates the color. Mm. So for example, mm. um, the root chakra mm. is red mm. because it is the source of uh, the seed mm. or the, 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 the home of Kundalini energy. Mm. Kundalini energy means the coiled serpent. Mm. Okay? We, we see um, on pharmacies and so on, yeah. we have the symbol of the coiled mm. seed uh, serpent because this is the, the life force energy. Mm. It is from this energy that all the energy goes up the spine mm. um, towards uh, the crown chakra. Mm. So, uh, so how, how the red Wearing red, for example, uh, uh, wearing red stone or something like that could help uh, uh, my chakra? Yes, it could help. For mm -hmm. example, um, uh, let's say red jasper is uh, something that is very much loved for uh, the root chakra. Mm -hmm. Because you are, uh, again, the stone or the crystal is vibrating this mm -hmm. uh, resonance mm -hmm. of uh, the vibration of the, of the chakra. Red mm -hmm. has a certain vibration. So it corresponds to the vibration that we want in the root chakra. Mm. And this is how it can help in and balancing. It, uh, we can uh, also uh, do the same for every chakra in our We best. can do the same for every chakra, mm. yes. Do you believe that if I have certain uh, problem in my uh, root chakra, for example, I, I, if I go to my uh, door or I go to, uh, to, to, to choose my clothing, I, I would uh, go for uh, the red color, for example, or it's, it's not necessarily that well, I need that color? No, of course, yeah, I, you can go to that color, but at the same time, you mm. have a panacea of different things mm. that you can use in order to balance your um, uh, oh. chakra. It is not only, it is not only mm. using mm. things from mm. outside. It mm. is most important to develop that from the inside. Mm. The, so, 
um, resorting to um, stones, resorting to crystals, resorting to colors, resorting to things from the outside to feel protected and to, to fix my chakra system mm. is not the right attitude. Mm. The right attitude is to start by yourself from inside mm. by focusing on, your, um, on yourself, mm. by silencing your brain, by meditating. How? How, How can I silence, silence the, brain? Uh, the brain? Because I, I believe that I, I've met uh, many human development experts, I've yes. met many doctors, many uh, people who are specialized in different fields, and for them it's very easy f to say that we have to silence our minds, we have to think in a different matter, manner, we have to be different. Yes. It's very easy to be said, but yes. it's very hard to be uh, implemented. So uh, what are your tips? Um, I should say, or I would say, <laughs> that it is uh, very easy to be said, yeah. And it is very easy to be implemented as well. Mm -hmm. The only thing is because, you know, you know um, many times I hear people saying, well, we are human beings. Yeah. We have to, uh, to be like that. We have to be um, always, um, you know, uh, in thought and thinking and mm -hmm. uh, uh, thinking of what we're going to do. How can you silence your and brain and while you are, uh, maybe you are sitting, you are stand still or lying in bed and your brain is starting to function by itself? How can yeah. I stop my brain and start yeah. to, to go to the mute uh, pos uh, position, to, to be relaxed, to think? positive or to meditate, how yeah. can we do that? You can observe your thoughts mm. and you can be mindful of the thought that is coming. How? This is um, by noticing, mm. by realizing, you know, just by noticing, mm. by becoming more aware. How can I get rid of the negative thinking, of the, the negative uh, energy that yes. has entered to my body? Yeah. The minute you think a negative thought, mm. something has to ring a bell. Mm. Be aware of it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I should stop. I and should and stop yeah, it immediately. And stop it immediately. And um, think a positive thought mm -hmm. instead of it. Okay? It's really so powerful and so easy mm -hmm. because it is us that can do it. You don't mm -hmm. need anything from the outside to mm -hmm. be able to do that. Mm -hmm. We are born with the universe in us. Mm -hmm. It's just that we are not using that. We are not using that. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it means some people now um, are talking about emergence. Mm. It's not only co-creating, like you are co-creating your uh, present moment. Mm. It is you are emerging your present moment because mm. you are, it is all in you and the only thing we need mm. is a new emergence to mm. bring it out, mm. to be aware of it, mm. to uh, be mindful of it. Mm. And this is how mm. you, you, you start to notice and then mm. after noticing, you, uh, bec you, you start to change mm. your, your thought pattern. Mm. Dr. Soraya, when a patient or a, a person comes to you and says, I'm, um, I'm not happy, I'm always in pain, I'm not enjoying life, uh, what steps do you follow with him in order to uh, start uh, his treatment and end up with a, a more optimistic, a more positive person? Yeah. Um, it depends also on the case. Sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes I start with, if I feel that the person <coughs> needs to talk, needs to bring it out uh, all, you mm -hmm. know, needs to bring it out uh, from the system, from his or her mm -hmm. system. To get rid of yes. the burden. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, I start to um, uh, have a little chat with them. Uh, if uh, I feel that it is uh, uh, a good method for me to do some life coaching, then I start on some mm. life coaching. Um, if I feel that uh, the person um, has an, a mental emotional uh, problem, mm. um, and this is what is causing all the, uh, mm. the ills that they are talking about, then uh, I give them a Reiki session, because mm. a Reiki session would balance. Mm. all these different aspects, emotional, mental, physical, mm. spiritual. Mm. Yes. Uh, you have never uh, experienced before that a person comes to you and you refer them to uh, a, a psychiatrist, for example, or psycholog a psychologist, or uh, the Reiki treatment is, is the answer here. Um, yeah, the Reiki treatment will help a lot. Mm. But if it is, the illness is advanced, Mm. then it will take a lot of time, mm. like any other uh, mm. therapies, uh, mm. alternative therapies or uh, um, these mm. type of therapies that mm. take, it takes longer, but mm. of course it will 
uh, have an effect. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so the, you can work the in parallel with a psychiatrist, for yes, example, if yes, the case is, uh, yes. is need, in need yes. for that? Yeah. Yeah, this mm. would be... Uh, and are they aware of that treatment? Or if you go to many doctors, I believe here in Egypt still, they do not believe very much in that uh, kind of yes. uh, therapy. Yeah. Or are we aware of that uh, nowadays? Um, I don't think that um, uh, we have doctors who are doing that already here in Egypt. No, 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 we, we, don't, we don't mm. know. But there are many doctors who are open now. Mm. to other forms of therapies because they themselves are seeing mm. that there are so many cases that are actually not responding to the uh, traditional um, the medicine. Mm. Yeah. And many people are, are, are suffering from the, the medicine, I believe. Yes, mm. yes, of course, every medicine has mm. its side effects and side effect. problems. Hippocrates, uh, the ancient um, uh, physician, mm. said that um, um, nature, um, that uh, medicine heals. Mm. Um, uh, no, sorry, medicine cures, but mm. nature heals. Mm. So if you go to the source of the illness, then the illness is cured. Mm. But we never go to the source. We always mm. go to the symptoms mm. of the illness. And we, 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 we just we want just to get rid of yes. that by yeah. taking a pill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doctor, when the chakra treatment is a must, well, do you believe that when you, uh, you, do you, uh, do you see a, a person, maybe he is not coming to you for treatment, uh, you believe that no, that person needs a chakra treatment? Mm -hmm. Did you uh, witness that before? Well, I think that all of us need uh, mm. a chakra balance. Mm. All of us. I mean, mm. uh, on daily basis. Mm. Uh, like um, uh, even me, for example, mm. uh, every day I have to do uh, my do self to yourself. I, my se I do my self treatment. Mm. Yes, by, by uh, meditating or by uh, uh, using Reiki. By using uh, is yes. it possible to, to use yes. it to yourself? You do it on yourself, and you can do it on others. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, doctor, uh, what other uh, methods of using the energy are uh, curable for the chakras? Uh, uh, do we have Reiki here? Do, do you have, yeah, we do have, have other uh, manners and uh, yeah. methods of yeah. treatments. We have crystal healing, for mm. example. We have uh, sound therapy, mm -hmm. uh, which is also very mm -hmm. um, mm. powerful. Uh, we have color therapy, we have aroma therapy. So many different things. It depends, and they are what, uh, accurate, and they are actually functioning yeah. well. And but there's a difference, difference between these ones and the Reiki. Reiki. I tell you what the difference mm. is. I think there is a, um, a main difference that uh, within uh, uh, these other forms of uh, therapies, you mm. are curing um, the right. the part, mm -hmm. whereas in Reiki, you are going through the different. Uh, levels of uh, b body levels and you're going through the different uh, levels of uh, the, the physical body, the etheric mm. body, the mind uh, body and uh, spiritual body. So it is, it is uh, an intelligent energy that mm. goes wherever it's needed so it is fixing everything at the same time. Indeed, uh, Dr. Soraya Jival, the wellness consultant, thank you very much for thank your you. first input. And I hope that uh, people start to, uh, to uh, practice definitely the wellness. I definitely, uh, I definitely uh, want fitness. to see that in hospitals and in uh, clinics yes. and uh, uh, a cooperation between uh, the doctors and the um, uh, medical uh, science uh, uh, therapists. Thank you very much, Dr. Soraya. Right. Mm -hmm. And with that, we come to the end of this edition from Body and Soul. Hope you have enjoyed it. Until we meet again next week. I'm a history of your signing off.